everyone, this is Dori, I'm a teacher of English and today we're going to talk about a bar chart in academic writing task 1. I've already told you the strategy you should follow in academic writing task 1 in detail using a diagram as an example uh, and you can check this video over here in this link but today let's go and see uh, how we read a bar chart. Okay, so here's the bar chart, but let's go and read the task together. So, the bar chart below shows the studying hours boys and girls spend on several subjects after school between the years 2003-2008. Summarize the information by selecting and reporting the main features and make comparisons where necessary. Okay, this bar chart has a lot of information, and as you can see here, and this could confuse you, but not if you take it step by step. So firstly, let's underline the important information in the topic. Okay, so obviously you're going to underline, to underline studying hours. This is the main topic for what? For boys and girls. This is what we care about. Spend on subjects and you can also underline the date for now 2003-2008 and of course never forget to underline what you should do, you should summarize by selecting and reporting uh, the main features and make comparisons. Exactly. So, uh, okay, now we know more or less what this topic is about. And now we go, we go and read the graph very, very carefully. The first thing we want to do is to see what the two axes represent. Over here, this one and this one. So, the vertical one here, it's clear, it shows the subjects, maths, physics, language, etc., etc., etc. But what about the horizontal one over here? Well, the horizontal one shows the number, the number of hours studying each week. Okay, so far so good. Now, what do these colors represent over here? The blue one and the green one. And most importantly, why do they change as we move on? Why the blue one becomes green? So, let's see. Uh, here, the blue one. It is common for both boys and girls. It is the number of hours studying each week for both, both boys and girls. And what about the green one? The green one symbolizes the additional number of hours studying each week for the girls only. So, the green part over here is for girls only and the blue one is common for for both. So the first thing we notice is that girls consistently study more in every subject. Can you see that? So nothing to confuse us here. What about these hours now that follow each bar over here? Two hours and 30 minutes more, one hour and 45 minutes more, etc, etc. Well, obviously, these are the additional hours that girls study more in every subject. So, in the end, over here, average for eight subjects. The graph also gives you the average of all the subjects and uh, the additional hours that girls study as a whole. Okay, now, what about here, 2005-2008? I'm sorry, this is a typo. It should be 2003. But anyway, you get the idea. What about this date over here? Do you need it? Does it matter in this case? Does it affect your information over here? No, it doesn't. You will, you will only use it in your introduction. So, other than that, you just care about subjects and hours for boys and girls. You don't need that, okay? So, first of all, write your introduction by paraphrasing the topic given. Nothing more, nothing less. You don't care about the bar chart at this point, so don't let that confuse you. If you need extra help in paraphrasing the topic in Academic Writing Task 1 in order to form an introduction, then you should watch this video over here where we do exactly that. Now, let's go to the bar chart again and see the most important points you need to consider for your next two paragraphs. 
Now, in your first paragraph after the introduction, you care about describing only, so don't worry about comparisons at this point. Let's go and check the highest and the lowest values for studying. So, the hours for studying maths and Latin over here, maths and Latin, here we go, are the most, as we can see as a total, and the hours of studying for literature, here and chemistry over here well they are not as many now the hours spent for language are more than those spent on physics over here and history but less than those spent on latin overall we can see that the hours spent on practical subjects such as maths and physics and biology are more than the hours spent on theoretical subjects overall so more or less, these are the main things you should focus on in this paragraph. Don't worry about anything else. And most importantly, you do not have to talk about each and everything. And one more thing, don't start talking about boys and girls at this point because you will eventually get confused. Uh, this is too much information and your paragraph will be convoluted with no cohesion eventually in the end. So uh, just take it one step at a time, okay? Now, your third paragraph. Time to compare. So, start with comparing girls and boys in relation to subjects. It will be easier for you. So, as a whole, we can see that girls study more in all subjects. So, start with the general and then move on to the specific. You can state the average over here. Do you see that? Average for eight subjects. This helps you very much to begin your, your paragraphs. So, say that girls on average study more by what by one hour and 10 minutes and you can start your paragraph with that and then move on by saying more specifically we can see that in subjects such as maths and physics the girls study more than the boys almost two hours more in each subject that's it then you write your conclusion and your essay is ready to go even if it is a graph a diagram a pie chart a bar chart you name it with lots of information please don't panic don't let that confuse you if you take it step by step then you will see that academic writing task one is quite easy to be written especially if you follow an organized strategy Okay, that's it for today. I'd love to hear from you, either here in the comments section or in Facebook, Twitter and Google Plus. The links are down below in the description box. Thank you very much for watching. Good luck with your exam.